Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, TTGO T Display streaming video over Wi Fi from ESP32 Cam, I wanted a solar panel charging a single cell LiPo battery powering a remote camera streaming video to the T Display over Wi Fi. But a single cell 1000 milliamp per hour battery with a 5 volt buckboard at 2 amps is not sufficient to power the ESP32 cam. The transmission dropped frequently and the camera heated up quickly. Let's try streaming video over Wi-Fi with this M5 Camera X transmitting to the M5 Stack Core IoT unit. First, we need to work out the prerequisites. In Arduino IDE under File, Preferences, additional board manager URLs, you want to have the M5 stack board definition URL here. In tools, board manager, install the M5 stack board support. Now you can choose the M5 stack core two in board manager. Select the correct serial or COM port. Kudos to 0015 that project for this code. Make sure to look for the links in the description down below. Let's download the zip. Now open the zip and find the ESP32 CAM Wi-Fi Direct sketch and the ESP32 CAM WebSocket Client sketch and copy these to your Documents Arduino folder. Back in Arduino IDE under Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries. This takes a moment to inventory the installed libraries and check for updated ones. First, we want to install the Arduino WebSockets library. Okay, good. Next, install the TJPEG decoder library. That's right. Bodmer TFT ESPI. We need that library installed. Check. Finally, we need the Button 2 library installed. Great. The Arduino IDE is prepared for this project. Open the ESP32 CAM Wi Fi Direct sketch. First, we need to modify the right and left button pin definitions. I got these from docs.m5stack.com. The right button changes from pin 35 to pin 37. The left button changes from pin 0 to pin 39. So we should be good to upload the ESP32 Wi Fi Direct Sketch. But I got a blank screen. Dope! I forgot. I need to modify user setup in the TFT ESPI library. I took a few swings at it and wound up with nada, nothing, zip. Searching GitHub, I found this article called TFT ESPI on M5 Stack Core 2, and it is a big help. Kudos to Blue Jazz CHN M5 Stack product example codes. Let's step through this one. Step 1. Browse to your Documents Arduino Libraries TFT ESPI folder. In the User Setup Select H file, comment out Include User Setup H. Step 2. Uncomment User Setups Setup 12 M5 Stack H. This check for the ILI 9341 driver in the Do Not Tinker section was fine, so I did not tinker with it. The one exception to this article is Step 3, Copy Pin Setting from IN ESPI Setup H to Setup 12 M5 Stack H. I could not find this IN ESPI Setup in the TFT ESPI folder, so I referred to the pinout for the M5 Stack Core IoT unit at doc.m5stack.com and found the original pin definitions in Setup 12 M5 Stack H 
were correct. Upload the ESP32 cam Wi-Fi Direct Sketch to M5 Stack Core again. Great! Now we can see text on the screen informing the core is ready for the M5 Camera X to connect. Let's open the ESP32 Cam Web Socket Client Sketch. What is not obvious to me is which camera model to select in the sketch. I compared the pinout for the M5 Camera X with the various listings in Camera Pins H file and found the camera model M5 Stack Wide had the matching pin definitions. In Arduino IDE, I chose the M5 Stack Timer Camera in Board Manager. This is the only M5 Stack camera listed in the M5 Stack Boards list. Plus, it shows as having PS RAM. Now I select the correct serial port or COM port. Now we can upload the ESP32 CAM WebSocket Client Sketch to the M5 Camera X. OK, it's sort of working. I want to set the rotation from 1 to 2 in the TFT ESPI code for the display as it seems the width of the image extends vertically off the top of the screen. And I really have to figure out why the image has reversed colors, or it's negative. Let's go back to the ESP32 CAM Wi-Fi Direct sketch. While I am changing the TFT set rotation from 1 to 2, I get a clue here. The next line of code sets the text to white on a black background. And the actual display is reversed. This means the problem is in the TFT ESPI configuration, not related to the camera. Whew. After setting the rotation to 2, I had to toy with the Y position value to get the image centered on the screen. It doesn't seem to be a 300 by 240 image. Instead, it seems to be 240 by 240. But let's work on the reversed color or negative image issue. User Setup H has this statement here. If colors are inverted, white shows as black, then uncomment one of the next two lines and try both options. One of the options should correct the inversion. And the two lines are define TFT inversion on and define TFT inversion off. Recall that we commented out User Setup H in user setup select H, and we uncommented setup 12 M5 stack H. So this setup 12 M5 stack H file seems like the best place to copy these TFT inversion definitions to. First, I go with define TFT inversion on, and I can see right away the white text on the black background. Problem solved. Let's fire up the camera again. OK, this is great. We have resolved the negative or inverted color issue. This camera, like the AI Thinker camera from my TTGO T-Display video, still seems to rely on stable, high current 5 volt power. Otherwise, it might drop connection. I found especially when I'm moving the camera around. I don't know, maybe a slight movement of the USB connection drops the current somehow. But overall, the M5 Camera X does not drop as frequently and doesn't seem to get hot like the AI Thinker does. I've been sitting here typing this script for almost an hour with the camera on in a steady physical state, not moving it around, and it remained connected the whole time. <laughs> the battery on the M5 Stack Core actually ran out before the camera ever quit. I have to recommend the M5 Camera X for the reasons of better stability and keeping its cool. In future installments, I would like to pursue a more capable power supply that doesn't rely on boosting up a single cell LiPo to 5 volts. I would like to attach this solar panel to help maintain the charge. 
I want to get an image from the camera that matches the screen size and orientation of the M5 stack core. I did a range test at the park, but I didn't get the results I was expecting, so I'm going to continue to develop a range testing scenario. I would also like for the camera to detect that it has a lost connection and read try connection or maybe reset. I hope this video, along with my previous T-Display version, inspires you to give this project a try and improve on it for your own purposes. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch one of these videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.